Are you learning how to fly your drone, learning how to race, or just interested in FPV in general? Well, you can download the Velocidrone Simulator, and now they have a new weekly time trial series going on. It's super easy to enter, and there is going to be a rotation of expertly designed tracks that is going to rotate between beginner friendly and expert friendly and let you try your hand and get benchmarked against all of the other drone pilots in the world. Now, what do you need to get started? The simulator itself only costs about $20, but then you're gonna need a controller like this one. This is a budget style controller. The V3 is the newest version of that, which I suggest you get. It's about $60 and it's compatible with Express LRS protocol. So after you want to actually fly a real drone, you're gonna be ready to go and that's gonna be a budget option. Or if you're the kind of person that likes to buy once, you can buy a full-size hobby radio. This is the Jumper T18 Pro, which will cost you about $160. The most popular out at the time is actually the Radio Master TX16S. There's three different versions of that that range from about $200 all the way to the top of the line, which is about $400. So those are the kind of options. In a pinch, you actually can just use a PlayStation or Xbox controller. I don't really recommend that you do that too long though um, because they don't have the same type of control feel as a real. This week, it is such a treat. We have Neil NM Growers track. That's right, the Michelangelo of multi-GP gates. If you didn't catch the episode where he talked about designing this year's multi-GP nationals championship track, uh, go check that out in the corner right here. And if you thought to yourself, I don't necessarily have the ability to travel all the way to Houston to train um, with one of the best track designers in the world, and I don't have the ability to go all the way to Florida for the championship track. Now you can try it from the comfort of your own home. Now, Grower's Tower that he's designed is probably one of the most fun tracks I've ever flown on simulator, but it is an expert track. So you can take a look and benchmark yourself. If, in fact, don't even worry about what time you get. If you can finish the track, and the nice thing about simulator is when you crash, it puts you right back in the air. So you have basically unlimited lives. If this was a video game, just get a time, get on the boards, have some fun. It's a good way to bench yourself, benchmark yourself over time. Now, last week, my on high had one of her train insane series tracks, which is very beginner friendly. And it's very cool that the Velocidrome team is rotating back and forth between some of these track design features, making them beginner friendly one week expert friendly the next week so nobody gets bored everybody has fun let's go take a look and see where all of the houston crew is at you can see right here that grower himself the track designer is up at the top then you also have limon in the mix you have matt max joe mama 80k Derek, magi landon who has been flying with us very recently is steaming up the track uh, and then you can see me, I'm definitely pulling in towards the back. I don't get as much simulator time as I'd like to. The other very cool thing is that you can take a look at the leaderboards, download their flight, and study the lines that they're using. That's how I'm viewing my flight right here. And you can do that to see the top pilots or just to see who is slightly beating you on the leaderboard, see what line they're taking. Maybe you can study some tips. Very nice studying tool for being able to learn how other people are accomplishing some of these complex maneuvers. Uh, but hey, see if you can beat my time on the track. Let's go through a quick walkthrough of the track itself. I'm gonna walk you through the first lap. Then you can see the rest of my flight. This ended up with 155 seconds total, which is my time on the leaderboard. Here's the beginning of the track. First, it's kind of a little loop-de-loop, -loop, then slide through a gate, over another gate, split S here, quick turn, around split S, back and forth, another loop to loop i get lost here for a second but keep on going push through to a dive now we're going to do a long sloop to sloop straight through punch it right here hug that gate around up here now does a big up dive reverse dive dive again around this little block around the next block this is the hardest part of the course it's kind of a triple divey in the air merry-go-round thing it's very tricky but once you get through there then it's just a regular back and forth down and around 
around one more time, punch it up, go through the dive. Now we're back to the Stargate. So now that you've seen that, watch the rest of this. As soon as it's over, like, subscribe to the channel, and then go fire up Velocidrone. Get yourself on the board. I want you to post your times in the thing below. Are you really excited about being able to fly some of the best tracks? by some of the best track designers in the world without having to leave the comforts of your own home and simulator setup. After all, you can crash on this track 500 times and you won't have to repair a thing. Thanks guys. And then to the right of this pole and into the start finish gate. This is our start finish gate here. Oh. So just straight down around the first tree, like right outside of this pole and into the gate. Only on the start. Only on the start. Only on the start. This year, but like don't be a bitch about it, right? Like we're going <laughs> over the tree for real. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, around the flag, split us the tree back underneath. Around this one and then. <laughs> okay, so we've gone under the little awning, we've come back up over the top of it this way, and we're split S and down into this gate, come in this direction, then 180 through this gate, and then down into the dive gate. That's pretty much And if you can look from here, and we'll start again looking from down there, but we're dropping through the dive gate and then spiraling this hole and going in the garage and out of the garage. Just that's all. Just in and out. That's crazy. That's, yeah. that's gonna be sick. That's so sick. That's just crazy. Wait, could you repeat? This is like Disney World for FPV.